Hi everyone, I'm Christopher Walker and today we're going to be talking about creating your report cards using mail merge once you put all your data in and you've made all the connections. So first you want to make your way to your report card um, in Google Docs that you've created. This is just a reminder that any fonts that you have in here will match up with the new data that's going to be put into it. So you want to make sure it looks how you want. Um, don't worry though too much about how long it is. It will shrink once it puts in the data. Um, so from here you want to go up to the top and click on the add-ons button and you want to find your one that says mail merge and then go on over to the right and click start and that's going to open up this um, sidebar for you now you are going to want to make sure um, that the correct spreadsheet is connected to the correct document so mine are named the same so that i can remember um, i have report card example as my doc and then this is report card uh, example and this is a sheet now if you're unsure if it's match or if it matches you can click open spreadsheet uh, and this will give you all the sheets that you have created before um, it may take a while to load them up especially if you have quite a few um, and then you can search for the one that you want to use um, mine is right here and it's already being used so I'm just gonna click cancel all right now the sheet and the add merge field to document i've already done that and that um is all of these little asterisk um pieces right here that it's in the document already if you haven't done that you're going to want to do that first um and then once you have all that done you are going to make sure that you have all your grades are in so you want to go back to your um, spreadsheet with all your grades um, so each row should have a different student uh, and then you're going to put in all their information. Now these um, headers right here or columns match the uh, information that is in your Google Docs. So this one's independently begins day by putting belongings. And if we come over here, um, that's the same thing right here. Okay, so those fields are going to match up and it will put an N in right here. Um, where the asterisk piece is all right so you're going to make sure that you have all your grades in okay including at the end of each color you're going to have comments a comment area so if you double click on it you'll see that i already have a comment put in here um they are cut off so that it doesn't continually go on and it's um, a lot of scrolling um, which there already is but we don't want any more so you keep going, make sure that you put all yours in. If it's trimester two, you want your trimester two comments and then trimester three all the way to the end. All right, once you're sure all of that grades are in for each of your students, you're going to go back to the report card and you're gonna come back to that sidebar that you have open and you're going to come down here to the bottom. It says merge two. Now we want them to go to letters because this will make it into a letter format or a printable document. Once you have that clicked on there, you're going to click merge and it's going to go through the process. Now mine only has two that it's going through, so it's going to be a little quicker than maybe if you had, you know, 20 to 30. It's going to say that you have, I have two records to merge. That's because I have two different students in my account. Yours should equal the same amount of students that you have in your account. If it doesn't, then you're gonna wanna go back and make sure that you have a row for each student in your Google Sheet. Once you're ready, you're going to click yes, and it's gonna merge them all. Again, this could take longer, depending on how many students you have. And then you're going to see this screen. So it says successfully finished, merged a total of two records. Um, they're saved in the following location. So it's automatically going to create a Google folder within your Google Drive. Um, now you can get to it from here or you can get to it from your Google Drive, but it's gonna be labeled with this report card example, okay? So if you click on that, it's gonna open up that folder within your Google Drive for you. And you'll see I have two different documents for the two different students I merged it for. If I click into one of them, I should now see all of their grades are put in. 
So remember, originally it looked like this. I had all of this information with the asterisks in it. I now have all their grades put in, all right? And if I scroll down, I should also have my comments put in as well, all right? Then all you have to do is print it and it should be good, ready to go.